everybody. I wanted to update you on how my training's been going. I did a video about a week ago mentioning that I was going to start working on leaning out a bit more. Um, so it's been a week and I started my carb cycling and I started increasing my cardio and it actually went pretty well. Uh, I started with my cardio not two balls to the wall pretty slowly. Um, I worked out five times this week so I need to work up to every day but I was able to do cardio in some form or another every day during those five days. Um, doing the stepper, I've been doing some running with intervals, and then even just like going out for like a fast hilly walk on my lunch break. You know, just trying to do whatever I can to start fitting in some more of that cardio and building up my endurance because it definitely feels like I've lost some of my conditioning in terms of cardio. So. Um, Overall went good, been doing like a half hour to an hour cardio max right now. So for me, that's where I need to start because I'm right about um, a little less than eight weeks. So I still have time to, to kind of build up my endurance and increase my cardio. Um, it's not realistic for me right now to just be doing two hours of cardio. And also it's not gonna really do me any good in terms of maintaining my muscle mass. So my other competitions, they had no issues with how lean I looked. It was you know, I needed more muscle. So I want to be really careful of that fine line between maintaining my muscle and leaning out. So um, I've seen really good changes though in the one week I've done it with the carb cycling and bumping up my cardio. Um, I can definitely already see changes in my legs. I can start seeing some like delineation, which my legs for me take the longest to lean out. So the fact that I still have seven weeks and I've already started seeing changes with my legs is makes me very happy and I'm still feeling really strong in the gym in terms of my weightlifting even though I've stopped taking my creatine so I'm feeling very good right now with the fact that I still have a little less than eight weeks um, but it's not a lot of time so it's gonna fly by and I'm just gonna kind of keep slowly bumping up the intensity each week and still maintain my weightlifting that I've been doing so Hopefully I'll do um, a body count probably in a week or so to see how where everything's at in terms of how much muscle I've got and where my body fat's at. So I'll let you guys know the results of that when I get it. Uh, in terms of the scale, I don't I do get on the scale, but I don't really look at that number too. You know I don't give that number too much like credit because it varies day to day when you're carb cycling. So my weight can go anywhere from three to five pounds. It can vary, but I have seen some changes there. So um, you know it's just something I keep an eye on, but I don't really worry about my actual weight on the scale too much. Um, other than that, it, it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be starting the carb cycling and the cardio. So I'm on vacation from work this week, kind of just a staycation to stay at home and relax and rest and not be stressed, which is crucial with training because that can really affect it. Um, so this should be a good week for me to really hit my weights hard and train really good. And um, Team Universe was this past weekend, so that was really motivating to kind of look at all the girls online and see who won and just kind of really got me focused and really got me determined. So I'm feeling really good where I'm at. I definitely feel better than where I was at eight weeks before Rochester in terms of my focus and motivation. Um, I didn't have a cheat meal this week, which is the first week I've done that, and I didn't really have any cravings. So for me, that was that's good. I'm on a good path right now. So um, I'm going to keep doing bikini updates and let you guys know where I'm at in terms of my training. So I hope you keep checking back, and I will see you soon.